Hello, everyone, and welcome. My name is Scott Elbertson. I am the technology coordinator here for the Wapton Public Schools. Along with me, we have Derek Bartnick and Mark Lull, our technology information system specialist. Uh, the three of us help make up your tech department, and we are here to help you be successful this year. I just want to give everybody a heads up where our office is located. It is in the elementary school. Um, you can reach us from 7.30 in the morning to 4 p.m. at night. You can contact us to the help desk at emailing at wps.helpdesk at k12.nd.us. Uh, and all the classrooms, the phones will have a button labeled tech department. You can push that and it'll call us or uh, you or a parent or guardian can call us directly at 701-672-5000. Um, be sure if you have a tech issue to give us as much detail of your issue as possible. It is really helpful to us. We're going to talk about digital citizenship. Digital citizenship is a person who develops the skills and knowledge to effectively use the internet and other digital technology, especially in order to participate responsibly in social and civic activities. Your digital footprint, it refers to one's unique set of traceable digital activities, actions and contributions and communications manifested on the internet or on digital devices. It's always important to understand that whatever you do on social media, that it is pretty much the same as putting it on the front page of the newspaper. Uh, your future college is most likely to check out your social media before they admit you. And for sure, your future employer will also check out your social media. So I said, just think about uh, whatever you post online, send to a friend uh, is not private, even if you think it is. So only post information or pictures that you feel uh, you want to share. Next, we're going to talk about the accept, acceptable use policy here. Um, we want to encourage everybody to abide by our acceptable use policy. It's found on our website. Practice responsible, balanced, and healthy use of technology both at school and at home. Be solely responsible for the use of individual Wapton Public School accounts both on and off campus before and during or after the school day. And you assume the responsibility for this computer or device, and you're gonna protect it from damage or theft, and especially have it ready to use at school each and every day, including bringing all the necessary chargers, uh, things like that, to, so you can be successful. Um, and also be sure that when you use your Wapton Public School email account, uh, make sure you use it for school-related activity and or academic communication uh, with parents and teachers. Um, is also, these are things that we agree not to do with our computers. Uh, we want to make sure we don't personalize them or deface them in any way. Uh, we don't want you putting stickers or any drawing. Don't share your passwords with anybody. It's your password to hang on to and try not to use the same password on multiple websites if possible. Um, it is not okay to use somebody else's electronic device account or passwords without their permission and definitely don't share or identifying information about any member of the school community online. I um, also want to encourage you not to upload or download large files or use streaming media on the Wapland Public Schools network, including operating systems, tablet or computer, or app updates. The school reserves the right to limit the size and files permitted for download. Students will also agree not to access or post information to inappropriate sites from devices connected to the Wapland Public Schools network. This one's important, you know, to attempt to circumvent any web filters or safety measures blocking to any sites. Um, if we catch you doing, trying to get around things, uh, you can lose your technology uh, for the day or for the year. Um, we don't want you to alter, destroy, or circumvent any other settings, configurations of network or school-owned devices. Uh, and then please don't connect anything external such as printers, routers to our server or network or install software on your computer or workstation without the permission of the tech department. Keep in mind, school technology is a privilege and it can be revoked. 
Students may have to make alternative arrangements if their technology privileges are revoked. If you break your computer, this is what it costs to replace or repair. So the replace your computer is $225. If you break your screen, it'll be $60. Replace the keyboard is 50. Replace your computer case is 35. And if you lose your charger, it's $30. Now we do encourage you, you can purchase optional tech insurance. It is $20 a year and you must purchase, purchase it within the first 30 days of school or new enrollment. Keep in mind tech insurance only covers accidental damage to computers. It never covers intentional damage and it does not cover loss if it's stolen or theft. One thing that's also important to note is that we see a lot of missing keys from keyboards. Um, keep in mind, you keep these computers sometimes for up to four years. So we want you to take extra good care of them. If you are missing a key, uh, you will need to buy a replacement keyboard. Some of the tech do's and don'ts. Don't put anything extra inside your computer case. That includes pencils, papers, and your password card. Try to keep that secure. Um, be sure to use the outside straps to hold your computer in case and always, always carry it with the protective case. Um, especially as you know, if people are excited, please don't place your computer on the floor near your locker and then your neighbor will step on it. Uh, do not put excessive weight or pressure on your computer, shoving it in your backpack, don't leave your computer unintended or an unlocked car. Um, we have had computers stolen out of people's cars. Uh, and also, please don't change the background image. We want you to take good care of your computer and its case and charger. Keep the computer charged. Report any damage right away. We want to know about it. Uh, seek tech assistance if you're having some problems. Our members said reach out to us, wps.helpdesk at k12.nd.us will create a ticket for us. And as always, be patient. We try to take care of the computers in the same day or relatively quick as we can. Um, save your work often. We encourage you to use OneDrive to back up your files. And then also consider tech insurance. Now it is time, once you get your computer, I'm gonna go over the steps, uh, what you're gonna need to do to get signed into your computer and get it ready for you to use. Uh, these computers are brand new, so you're going to have to do a little bit of setup. Um, your computer might be dead, so you're going to need to plug it in before completing some of these steps. So first things first, we'll turn your computer on, and the first question you should be asked is to select a language, and you're going to select English, United States, and then you're going to hit yes. The next page, it'll ask you, is this the right country or region? You'll select the United States, and then yes. On the next slide, you'll see, is this the right keyboard layout or input method? And you will select US and then yes. The next question I'll ask you is, do you want to set up a second keyboard layout? And you will select skip. Now it's time to get your computer connected to the Wi-Fi. We have created a special Wi-Fi network and it's named Computer Enrollment Wi-Fi. This Wi-Fi is strictly for getting your computer enrolled and activated so you can use it successfully. So once you find, search the network, you'll see the Computer Enrollment Wi-Fi. You will also select Connect Automatically and then hit Connect. After you have successfully connected to the computer enrollment Wi-Fi, you can select Next. Now it's time to log into your computer. This is the area that you will enter your school email address. Be sure to look towards the bottom and it'll say, Welcome to Edutech. If you don't see that, um, you can still try to sign in, but you want to make sure that your computer is connected to the proper network so it can get programmed properly. Um, after you select, after you type in your email address, you'll hit next. 
On the next page, it'll then show you the NDK12 Office 365 page with your email address, and then you'll have to enter your school email password. After you do that, you'll select sign in. If you have successfully logged into your computer, it will take a few minutes or longer to update and download your files. After your computer has updated with your files, you are now ready to use your computer. Also be sure when you're logging in, you're very careful on how you type. Your email is typically your first name dot last name at k12.nd.us. Sometimes there's a middle initial um, in your email address. Sometimes there's a one on the end. So play cl pay close attention. Um, as I mentioned earlier, your OneDrive, you'll log in using the same email and password that you've had. Um, some common troubleshooting steps you're going to want to know about is if your computer needs to be restarted or something isn't just working right, if you hold the button for two to three seconds, it'll power on or power off. If you hold the power button for longer than that, you know, 15 to 30 seconds, it will effectively shut down your computer. It's like pulling the plug. Um, sometimes it's necessary, but try the step one, uh, restart your computer if you can. And just to recap, if you want to reach out to the technology department, uh, like I mentioned, our, our hours are 7.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, if you do the wps.helpdesk at k12.nd.us, that is the best method to get hold of us. You can use the tech department button on a phone, either in the office or in a classroom. And then also you can call us directly at 701-672-5000. And as a reminder, please provide us as much detail as possible of your issue and maybe some of the steps you've tried to resolve it. Um, if you're unsuccessful fixing it on your own, uh, please drop it off in your school office for repair. All right, that's it. Uh, please take a minute now to see if you can sign into your computer. And as always, reach out to us if you have any questions. Thank you.